Today, we're gonna to be looking at this new powerful feature in Blender, how to access it and how to use it. Let's dive in. Now, there's no doubt that Blender is a powerful piece of software with a lot of great features, but it's always been lacking one significant feature in its Cycles render engine. And depending on what render engine you're using, it's either called light linking or light groups. And this is a common feature amongst professional render pipelines, including render engines such as Redshift, which is commonly used on product renderings, or other render engines such as Maya's Arnold, which was used on the Spider-Verse movies. And if you don't know what light linking does, what it does is it allows you to make certain lights only to affect certain objects, giving you complete creative control over your light direction. So let's look at how we can go about using this in Blender ourselves. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is head to the Blender download page. And instead of clicking download Blender up here, you're going to scroll down to experimental, click download Blender experimental. And then what you're going to do is you're going to move over here into the branch settings here. And you should see a Blender's 3.6.0 cycles light linking. If it's not there at the time of watching this video, you can come down here to the all archived builds and it'll most likely be in there. Now, first I'm going to show you how to do this in kind of a basic scene. And then after that, we're gonna dive into a practical example. But let's just show you how the feature works right now. So you can see here that I have a scene with a cube and Suzanne. If I switch over to render view mode here, you can see that I have a blue light and a red light, and then I have collections up here called red light and blue light. So what we can do is we can go ahead and grab the light we want. So let's say we have this red light here, and I'm gonna come over here to the object properties tab, come down here to shading, and you'll see that now we have this collection option. So I go ahead and can click a collection here. I'm going to pick red light. And what that's going to do is show me all the objects in that collection. And you can tell here that the UI is probably not final as I don't think they're going to be using cars here. So let's go ahead, click this one, and we have the light state and the shadow state. So we can actually make shadows appear in certain groups and lights appear in certain groups. And we could just include or exclude. So if I go ahead and hit include, you'll see that the monkey is no longer getting the red light because the red light is only going to cast red light onto objects in the red light group and the cube has been chosen to be included. If I go ahead and put Suzanne in there and include Suzanne, you'll see that now Suzanne is getting that light as well. Let's move Suzanne back to the blue light group. The other thing too, is that we can go ahead and change the shadow options as well. So let's go ahead, grab this blue light here. We're going to grab the blue light collection here, and we're going to tell it to include Suzanne with the lighting. So now you can see that the cube is no longer getting direct blue light from the light. However, it is getting cast off light. You can also see that it is getting the shadow. If I go ahead and move this up a bit, make this a bit more obvious, you can see that it's also getting the shadow cast. So we can choose to include or exclude the shadows as well. So if I exclude the shadows, you can see how that eliminates some of these shadows casted by the blue light on Suzanne. So that's how you go about using the light linking feature. So now let's look about how we can use it in a more practical example. This was what was in my thumbnail here. And this is a scene from my upcoming short film in which this moth is trapped on a web. And you can see here that the moth is getting a bit lost in the background with it being a bit dark. So I'd like to have a bit more separation here. Now, how I would normally do this is just go ahead and put a light up here behind the character and give them a backlight and separate them. The problem is that being attached to the web, that will kind of create a lot of light pollution on the web that I'm not really interested in. Here's what that would look like. You can see how it's kind of blowing out the entire scene and really lighting up the web when I really just want a hot highlight on the edge of the moth here. Now you could technically do this with light groups or some complex compositing, but that ends up being a bit cumbersome and can add a lot to render times. Whereas you can see here, with the light linking method, I can go ahead and make that light only affect the moth, which just adds a bit of contrast and makes them more visible. And although this may not be the most realistic lighting scenario, what this does is gives you a lot more control over the art direction of your scene, which is part of why I am so excited for this feature. I used light groups in Redshift when working with Cinema 4D colleagues on a client project once, and ever since then I've wanted to see it in cycles. And actually, I've been following this feature request here where it was submitted over four years ago, 420 comments, and I've just been checking in on this regularly, never thinking that we would actually get light linking, but 
It looks like it's on the way here, potentially launching in 3.6. It's in the experimental branch, so hopefully it makes it into the final release. If not, most likely 3.7. I'm just super excited to finally have this feature, and I was curious as to what suddenly prompted it to be available, kind of quietly unannounced, and the art director at Blender HQ said in the comments of their tweet announcing the feature, that they had actually just needed it on one of their upcoming products, making it the perfect opportunity to add it. So I'm extremely excited about that. As usual, thank you for watching. I'm always grateful for your views. Let me know what you think in the comments below. How are you going to use this feature? Is this something you've been waiting for? Let me know. Have a good day.